Dave and Leslie here, Travels Active. We are in the small city of Oroville, and we are going to ride about eight miles north to the North Table Mountain Ecological Preserve. Excellent. That was a mouthful. Thought it was your line. And we're going to check out some campgrounds on Lake Oroville and a brewery. One more thing I want to mention is that to go to the North Table Mountain Ecological Preserve, you do need a land pass, and that can be purchased only online, and it is good only for the day that you pick, non-refundable. So that's something you want to do before you leave, and I will have the link for that down below in the description. Well done. Go to Liamo. Let's roll. Created by ancient lava flows, the approximate 3,300-acre North Table Mountain Ecological Reserve is an elevated basalt mesa with beautiful vistas of spring wildflowers, waterfalls, lava outcrops, and vernal pools. Fissures in the basalt soak up winter rains, forming seasonal streams and waterfalls. In a few places, the underlying basalt is impermeable to water, forming a temporary pool. Soon to dry up after the rains end, only specialized plants and animals adapted to this habitat and can survive over time. I do believe I hear ravine falls. Cool. We drop down from the tabletop through the vegetation to the base of the falls. Oh wow. There's a little Phantom Falls viewpoint, the lower ravine falls, and then Phantom Falls. I guess it's just getting these mountain cut, which are pretty cool. I can hear the little Phantom Falls. Ooh, right here, perfect view. We're here at Table Mountain. We just looked at Phantom Falls. And Ravine Falls. And Ravine Falls, which are both very nice. We're here a little early though, for sure. The uh, lupin is not in full bloom yet. So we might uh, make plans to come back here again in a couple of weeks. I think this is the top of Ravine Falls right here, sweetie. Seems like it. So we're back from Phantom and Ravine Falls, and now we're gonna check out Beetson Falls, which is 2.3 miles this way. I don't know what this flower is, but I'm guessing the purple one just smells heavenly.
Beats Falls, another 1.8 miles this way. Mm, I smell perfume again. Ah, it's so much easier doing this without bicycles. Another fun creek crossing. So I'm looking at all this tree destruction. Must have been really windy or else they had a fire. Maybe a lightning strike. Looks a little haunted in here. Look at all these mushrooms on the tree. We could cross over here to go back, apparently. Beetson Ford, Crevice Falls, more falls. And then Beeston Falls is 0.6 miles and the parking lot is 2.1. Okay, so that'll be 1.2 plus the 2.1, 3.3 miles. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a fjord. Can we just call this Beats and Falls and go home? <laughs> All right, big leap. So here we are, about a half a mile away from Beetson Falls. Beautiful wildflowers, beautiful creek, but we still have a half a mile to go and I am famished and we left our food back in the trunk. We still have two and a half miles to get back, which is all uphill probably. <laughs> so we're calling it quits. Come back and see Beetson Falls another time. Lots of beautiful little stream crossings. Quick little detour here on my way back to the parking lot. And this is called Hollow Falls. And it is pretty special too. Pretty short at the top of Hollow Falls. Yeah, this is beautiful. I like this direction. This hike is really bucolic with the uh, hello cow. I like your earrings. Very nice. Must have done 25, 30 miles. We had no food on our hike. We had no food, forgot to bring it. We had Certainly. to cut everything short and come get some food in Chico, which is not too close, but close enough. And this will be continued, and we will go back and see the covered bridge and check out some campgrounds and visit ben. Bentham Falls. That's to be continued. Me. Stay tuned, don't touch that dial. A beautiful hike, nobody else here. This is lovely, just beautiful. The color here is good as it is up on the, on the flat and might be epic in a couple of weeks. Uh-huh, we'll find out.